Hello guys, I'm Ahlul Rehagi back again with another new video and today I'm gonna show you some of the API tester. Now what is API tester? Just like Postman. Do you know about Postman? Like the persons who are into backend things and who develop backends, basically the backend developers, they know how what is Postman or what is Insomnia. So those are basically some of the apps that are readily available in the market to test out APIs. But today I have open source free alternative for both of them like yeah so let's see them okay so first of all we have thunder client and it is basically a uh, like web uh, vs code plugin so all of the vs code users are they are out there like obviously i'm a vs code user as as well like all of them out there this is for you and if you are not a vs code user i don't know <laughs> to be honest like vs code is the go-to uh text editor for all of us like this is the best nothing can be better than it so i don't know whoever is using anything else like there are too many softwares for intellij but vs code can do everything to be honest whatever we are not here to like talk about vs like vs code versus all other text editors so uh, we are here to talk about those now uh, it will support uh, restful api graphql and as well as like uh, yeah soap client also okay so it will obviously support all of those three okay and rather than that you have all others uh, all other uh, like things like all other basic features that are also included in it but you will not get api monitoring in it okay that's one thing and no team collaboration that you may get in post postman or in so many okay so this is one thing uh, that you should know about before using it and no random data as well okay so no random data generators whatever so those are some things and random data available random data is not available for both of them like the both of the software i'm gonna show you today so this is basically uh, about uh, Thunder Client, the first thing, Thunder Client. And you can see quite simple interface. And you just have to like uh, add another plugin into your VS Code. That's it. That's it. And here is, is their uh, here also like GitHub profile, not profile, GitHub page also. And here they have actually mentioned everything properly, like how to use it, features, testing, and all. Everything is there. Okay. So I would better suggest visit here. Okay. You will find out everything from here only. Like they have everything, everything here, listed everything here. Okay. And they have a cool YouTube video to showcase all of those also. So why not? right so obviously great uh whatever let's uh move to our next next client that is hopscotch and hopscotch is totally web-based and nothing to download but you can obviously download their progressive web app i have downloaded it already so it is showing me a arrow icon to go to the app but but yeah you can download their progressive web app and in that you can actually like whenever you are offline you can interact with that at, as well like when you're developing everything offline and uh with the web app we can down you can do everything now about the specification so it is totally web-based as you can see it from here and it supports obviously restful and graphql but it doesn't support soap apis that's one thing that you have to know and random data it doesn't have random data and no api monitoring and no team collaboration as well and uh, another thing that i forget to tell about it that none of them support cli so that's one thing to keep in mind if you if you are someone who uses cli for this like cli for api testing so that is something you should keep in mind
so that's another thing and they have also their github repo because obviously it's open source so they will have it also and in their github repo also they have explained everything in a well-defined manner like features demo usage everything is here okay so you can got, get all of those here so uh, as you can see from the interface this is the actual interface uh, actually they haven't created any landing page or all like just created and just deployed the uh, like actual app into the web and here you can create accounts as well but without creating any account uh, i just uh, wanna show something that is obviously here you can get the do no yeah documentation section of the generate documentation section real time graphql rest and as you can see it is like pretty much cool looking like this is a proper app looking right uh, that means uh, it is not like just a client like not client just uh extension like extension looking but it uh, gives more look and feel like postman or uh, insomnia okay so and you can set some things from here like setting up things and all you can do all of those from here as well so yeah all in all great and you can have chrome extensions as well that is i think indeed a great thing because why not right because obviously it will help us and that's basically it that's basically it about this whole video i just wanted to show all of those and that's it that's it for this video if you like my videos in general please do subscribe to my channel and if you know some of the great great open source alternative or mainstream app like this please let me know about all of them in the comment section below so i can feature them in my future videos as well so bye for now